Now, I thought that 1917 should have won Best Picture that year instead of Parasite, but because Parasite won, I believe it was a good thing for people to realize that there are great films out there that aren't in English, and this film, New Order, is one of those movies. Let's take a look. Hey everybody, my name is Brandon, aka The Brando Critic, and I'm here to help you. My service will be pointing you in the direction of movies worth checking out, so if that interests you, make sure you hit like and subscribe, I really do appreciate all the support. And so do my partners at Movie Scene Canada, their link is in the description box below. They got a ton of reviews, contests, and you could be the next lucky winner. But today, I'm here to tell you whether or not New Order is worth a watch today. Spoiler alert, it is worth a watch. But let me tell you guys, this is not a pleasant watch. This is not a uplifting movie by any stretch of the imagination. This movie is not your typical hero's journey. In fact, I would go as far to say that there are no heroes in this movie. And in fact, if any character in this movie does the right thing, they're punished for it. Because this movie is pure chaos, madness, and anarchy. And there are three things that this movie does extremely well. Number one is that it shows us this revolution in Mexico where the poor rise up against the rich. And it's all from the ground's perspective. You don't really see these giant helicopter shots or you don't really feel too distant from the manor because it's all from the ground's point of view. You are in the fight. You are connected to the pure action and horror of the situation. And trust me, it's quite scary. There is a ton of shocking imagery in this movie. I'm talking rape scenes. I'm talking killings. I'm talking burglary. I'm talking everything that could go wrong for these people. It is just awful. And not only that, but there are these long static shots of just pure madness and they just stick on them and you really feel the weight of what's happening. But what I really love about this movie is that the revolution is never explained to us. There's not that scene where one character brings another character into a room and says, okay, this is what's happening. This is the revolution. The rich have all this money and yada, yada, yada. The poor are rising up. There's no explanation for it but we completely get it. There's one scene in the beginning where a woman refuses to help an acquaintance because his niece needs this heart surgery. And he's like, I need this money, you're my only hope. And she's like, no, 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 this is all I can help with, just get out of my house. I'm gonna call security, Get, get just get out of here. And not only that, but after the revolution, there's a rich woman who still treats her maids like crap. And it just shows you the amount of greed, the amount of selfishness and arrogance between the classes and how much of a disconnect there is between the two of them. Nothing needs to be explained to us. We totally get it. We completely understand it. And lastly, we see that there is no trust, loyalty between anybody. There is corruption everywhere. The streets, the rich people's homes and in their families, the militia, the military, the government, everyone backstabs everyone. And this whole movie feels like a giant crock pot of all this distrust and corruption and greed and arrogance just overflowing. And you see the ramifications that a society has to go through when that happens. And I will say that this film does not do Mexican tourism any favors. And I say that as someone who has visited Mexico at least like seven times. I love going down there. <laughs> I, can, I can imagine some people watching this and going, I'm not going to Mexico. It's just a movie, guys. It's a great place to visit. But overall, this movie is just pure chaos. Again, there's no real character motivations. There's no big story arcs. It's just showing us from the ground level what happens when a society is just overcome with distrust, corruption, and greed. And this movie will stick with you for a while. So for my official rating, I'm gonna give this movie a four out of five. It was quite hard to watch in some parts. You know, you do see some really just disgusting, terrifying imagery in this movie. So if you guys can't handle that, maybe this is not the movie for you, but don't let this movie fall to the wayside because of its dark imagery and because it has subtitles. Guys, we can read subtitles. This is a really good movie with imagery that will not leave you for a long time. I highly recommend this movie and I hope it does well here in North America. But what about you guys? If you guys have seen New Order, let me know what you guys thought down in the comment section down below. And like I said in the beginning, if you guys like videos like this and wanna see more, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button so you guys stay up to date for all the newest videos. And I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.